Welcome back, everybody, to Dreamscape. Uh, last time, our intrepid heroes tracked a chimera to a magic tree. Well, actually, admittedly, a totally regular tree that's not magic. Uh, and uh, a great battle ensued where they fought off three hags and a whole bunch of red caps and death dogs, and of course, the chimera itself. Uh, it was a bloody battle. It was intense, but our heroes came out on top. And now they are in the aftermath of this battle. So, that being said, Horus did kill it. That's true. Horus did smite he it. Did. He did. <laughs> he just wants to make sure everybody knows that. <laughs> he wants El Chad to know that. You guys will tell El Chad about how I killed this thing, right? <laughs> nah, dude. Well, if I meet this El Chad, then yes. Yeah, you'll like him. Imagine me, but like with uh, less conscience. Probably not play the music I'm currently. Yeah, dude, in like a stronger jaw. Horace looks a little hurt about that. He sort of rubs his jaw. <laughs> it's okay, bro. We're all a bit envious of El Chad's amazing jawline. It is kind of freakishly stern. It's hard to get a good look at you uh, behind all this brush. Because <laughs> there's a lot of bushes still. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Dorfadil, could you uh, unplant growth this? I don't think he actually can. I don't think he can. <laughs> oh. You just have to kind of wade through it. Yeah, um, uh, Samurai Jake's just uh, using his non-magical katana to slice down some of it as he walks through it. <laughs> yeah, Dragul will will kind of like saunter through it effortlessly, and he'll he'll come up to the beast and uh, take a take a nice gander at its corpse. Um, what, is there anything that he can learn? Like, looking through it, lifting, lifting it, the lion head and, and looking into its mouth and checking it over. It's it humongous. Was, right, so. It is. It's humongous. Uh, it was once a fierce creature, but no more. <laughs> I, I guess he'll, he'll look over to Vendrick and say, It's dead. Yes, very much so. All did quite well. Especially considering events. <laughs> kind of looks around at the plants. Well, I suppose well, I you guess need we should to head the beast. Yeah, we should get to scalping, huh? Yeah. Would you want me to do it while you uh, rummage around the area for treasures and goods? This might take some time. Sure. Are you, uh, are you an accomplished scalper? I am. Well, then, by all means, sir. And he, he gestures at the hag's head hanging on his hip. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, but I've got, well, I've got some stuff in my... I've got... Where's my... There it is. I've got seven... Red cap scalps and four dog tails. <laughs> this um, particular one of minship makes me feel a little ill, so um, I excuse me. And Dragul will kind of climb over the beast as Tootsie's gonna fly over it, and he's gonna venture into the tree. All right. Um, quick thing, as Vendrick's examining this, uh. Can you get an idea of what sort of skills he might need for for this task? An idea. Uh, I would say animal handling and survival. I'll need both of them. Yes. All right. Vendrick can do that. He's going to flip through his book. Uh, and I'm going to cast uh, something. Borrow knowledge. Uh, 
as he flips through his books, uh, sort of his monster bestiaries, mm -hmm. uh, to give himself, I'm going to cast it twice, to get the two skills I need for this beheading. All right. Uh, so it'll make me skilled in them for the next hour. Which I imagine it will take some time to cut these things off. They're pretty big, yeah. Oh, it will. It will. Right. And I, I would say that they're they're each of them are quite large. Like they are trophy sized heads. So it it would be uh, you know, quite a task for even just one person to carry one. All right. Well, he's he's more preoccupied with the actual act of it. Okay. Um, and you know what? Fuck it, because I really want it to be very good. Um, <laughs> so I am going to also cast Enhance Ability. All right. Uh, and I'm going to... That'll be my last second of this plot. And I will be using Owl's Wisdom to give myself advantage on those checks uh, when they come. I, I don't want to take up people's time. No, sure. No, All right, you well, you cast that. that. Time, because this is important. We want to make sure we get these heads. Okay. Yeah, so I, we can I, get our money or our card, our our ticket to ride. All right, ticket to ride. Should well, I Garrett, I would say the first thing you should do is uh, animal handling. All right, animal handling. Okay, 26. excellent. You know exactly where to cut. Which head are you going to start with? Um. It probably will start with the hardest one, which will be the dragon, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, it would. All right, yeah, you start with that. You, you, um, you've seen this before. You're a, a grizzled old uh, monster hunter. You've dealt with a dragon or two in your time, and you remember exactly how it is. You cock the head to the side, and then under the survival. scales. <laughs> Snicker snack. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah, you, uh, you do it without. I mean. It's not like uh, it's not the cleanest cut, but it's pretty damn clean, and it would take an expert to recognize where where you messed up. So it, it's yeah. pretty good. Good enough uh, for taxidermy, because I imagine he like went down the neck a bit, because he knows it'll have to be cleaned. Oh up. yeah, it would have to be cleaned up for sure, but uh, certainly good enough for taxidermy. Nice. Uh, so definitely a success there. Uh, and uh, go ahead with the next one, your choice. All right, uh, I'll do the lion next. Okay. Twenty-six wow. again. It's almost Death like he's <laughs> dealt with lions before. Uh, I don't know if you have, but uh, maybe, maybe dealt, you know. Dealt with you, chimeras for sure. For Smaller sure. Than this, mindy. Yeah. Uh, and a thirteen on this one, though. Ooh, this one is less good. It's uh, it's passable. It's yeah. passable. Well, I thematically i imagine it's because it's the biggest of the three heads yeah right? i mean it the is the that... main one yeah uh so. you know and the other thing is it's not you didn't do a bad job but uh mm -hmm. but you know you, you didn't do a bad job the, in the part slightest. most people hit like as opposed to the other heads. yeah I, you know uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> who, who, the, who the hell beat the? It's the one that uh that got smited, you know, right? Yeah. It's got a big old scar. Yeah, it's a big but old uh, gash in it. Yeah. Well, the only one that that leaves is the the goat. Hmm. Less familiar with giant goat heads, uh. But you know, how different could it be? Uh, uh, Twenty six. <laughs> And again, how different could it be from an actual goat? Perfect, yeah. fine harvesting of this creature. Yeah. Well, you know what it, it what it is? Is it's the not it's the domestic one. The least monstrous of the heads is the <laughs> one he's the least familiar with. Everyone's dealt but with it, a goat before. Yeah. Uh, so that's what Vendrick will be doing for the, the next, I imagine, hour, right? He's he's taking time doing all this. Okay. Um, let's see. Dragul, you flew into the tree, did you not? Yes, Dragul did. I don't know if uh, you want other folks to do some stuff just for pacings. Okay, well, yeah, well, well, that's good. What is everybody else up to? Uh, well, I'm over I'll, here I'll... with this one. 
With what one? With, with which one? Oh, that the hag? Other, the other hag over here. Y'all do what you're doing. Oh, we can have initiative. How about that? So that means... Oh, yeah. We get a yeah, sure. Let's do that. We got that. I'll set about um, scalping the red caps. All right. We've got one, two, three, four, it looks like up here. Do I have to... Can I scalp them fairly easily, or do I got to roll Yeah, I imagine you're just taking your time. You know, you're yeah. collecting. Yeah, you've certainly practiced <laughs> from the other day. Um, we know what Vendrick's up to. Ool, AFK. Uh, oh, what's, what's this Vrock doing? That's a really good question. He's flying Ooh. towards the sun, oh, according right to last oh, that's week's right. episode. Yeah, it flew Fly, off. Into flying the, into the sun. Okay. Oh, yeah. It flew oh. off into the sunset. <laughs> okay. I'm going to delete that guy. Then. Uh, you, you look at him, and he goes, Caw -caw! <laughs> and, uh, you know, he just becomes a smaller and smaller dot against the sun until it's probably too hard to stare at it. And he disappears. Uh, Dwarfadil, you're having a nice little uh, relax next to this tree. Yeah, uh, Dwarfadil is going to not walk through the, the mess he created. He's going to ritual cast tree stride and uh, go check out the big tree now that all the violence is done. Okay. All right. Well, we'll get to the tree at the at the uh, at the end of this. Aya, what you are looking at this hag? Uh, yes, I'm I'm looking at this hag, and it, in the time that like they've started like decapitating the uh, the monster and like looking around over there, I've taken out um, some incense and I've lit it. Okay. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna cast speak with dead. Ooh. Okay. Fun. All right, you cast Speak with Dead. Some spooky smoke flits about. It goes into your nostrils. And then you breathe it out over this horrific dead hag. And then she shudders. And her eyes open up. And she looks at you expectantly. Did you or your kin slay any humans in these woods recently? Yes. Are there other hags in this wood that would be in danger from the citizens of Tromstadt? Uh, <laughs> I phrased that one very specifically. No. Okay. Okay. Is there another coven nearby? Not sure. Okay. Have you made any offspring like myself to take? Under your wing. There we go. She cackles a little bit and goes... Not me. Okay. And then, uh... Do you know anything of the seer of Tromstadt? Very powerful. Okay. <laughs> and with that, she shudders and falls back to her death. Back to her sleep. Okay, as as like my eyes will like go back to normal, even though nobody's really looking. And then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna like look over her body. Like, it, is there like any like um, 
books, like spell books or like casting paraphernalia or. Um, Do an investigation just... check. Yeah. Hmm. You find a sharp stick, a little, uh, a small sharpened stick. Looks like it has a little blood on it. Okay. Um, and a bag of dead newts. Mmm, delicious. As I'll take the bag of dead newts and, um, I'm going to, uh, like, just, like, break the stick in half and leave it off to the side. Okay. And, um, I'll do what Vendrick did to the last hag. I'll, t I'll try. I want to try to get one of her eyes, and then I want to try to take her head to bring it back to them. Okay. Uh, do a survival. Okay. Okay. You certainly get a scalp. Oh, sorry. Was that for the eye or the scalp? Yeah, I'm. Do I'm doing the eye first. I guess you're I'll doing be both. It's fine. Yeah. You. Okay. You do get an eye. And uh, yeah, you succeed in you know, looting this uh, this hag. And then I will. Uh, I, I will. Uh, I'll use druid craft to just kind of like just cover her, like vines, and just like encompass her bones and everything. All right. Very and nice. Then walk of you away. Hunters. After scalping her, she uh, she gets reclaimed by this tree. Uh, Jacob Kane. Uh, how big are these um, griffin heads, roughly? Uh, they're pretty big. They would they would take, you know, it's a it's a it's a it's a two handed job. You know, you I imagine see. how how wide giant... apart do I got to hold my hands to get an idea of how wide they are? That's that's I guess more what I'm looking for. Let's see. I would say probably probably about as wide as you can widen your hands. They're huge. They're like five feet, ten feet? I would say at least five feet. At least five or six feet wide, yeah. Okay, well, I will... Jacob Kane will set about cutting a path from the, from the griffin body to out of the <laughs> overgrowth back to the path we came from to make it easier to move them out of all this plant stuff. All right. All right, sure. I'll just okay. draw that, I guess. Yeah, no problem. Uh, okay, well, everyone else, you are inside of the tree. You see... Uh, it's actually very dark. It's somewhat hollow in here. Very dark. Um, there are some wooden cages with bones. Um... You see um, just a lot of nasty trash everywhere. Um, I, I'd like all of you to make an investigation check. All right, an investigation. Dragul is... And by all of you, I mean all of you inside of the tree. Dragul is not very intelligent. All right. Well, oh, that's... but... Apparently, he's going to roll all right. A great success. Um, you see runes all over, etched into the, the wood. Sorry, by you, I mean um, Data. Sorry. Uh, crap, which character? Yeah. <laughs> Dwarfadil. 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 Yeah. Sorry, my, my God. Request. <laughs> That's right. Dwarfadil, you see runes all etched all over this, uh, they, but some of them, it's like runes, but they've been scratched out or scribbled out. Um, you would recognize them as something that druids would do, uh, as a uh, as a it, markings that that give this tree some sort of reverence. Can I reconstitute these markings? Um, roll a nature check. Uh, or Arcana, whichever one you want. No, no, nature check. Uh, that's gonna be a 15. Okay. Um, 
some of the scratches get unscribbled. It's not back to its former glory, but you did some, you, uh, you definitely improved it uh, somewhat. Uh, Dragul, what are you rolling? Oh, that was, that was just for tireless. I see. Yes, this, uh, this tree, the interior is slightly better. It doesn't do a lot to make the place homey, at least, but the, the, the former reverence that this tree was given has been somewhat brought back, and you feel pretty pleased with yourself. Good. Uh, Dragul, with that 18, you see that there's, you know, piles of trash, nasty stuff, uh, bones, but off in the corner, you see a more, I guess, browned and withered section. And you give that a good look. What is and it, You boss? find... I don't know if you can see that. Yes. Oh. Uh, he picks oh. up a staff. And um, does he know what it is? Or does he just know that it is a magic staff? Hmm. Well, I'm sure you guys can read it <laughs> because I forgot to put that in GM only. But uh, yes, I guess you you know what this is. You've you've heard of this before, so um, you find uh, and it's and it's actually a little bit obvious because the uh, you know it's sort of withered the area around it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you have this now. Where's my credit card? Can I can I just do the the thing where you slam it on there? Take my money, please. <laughs> he'll uh, he'll pick it up. He is gonna consider this a dangerous object, so he'll carry it uh, kind of gingerly. Um, you need is, it. is is there anything else that is there... he has found in the uh, hollowed out tree? Nothing of value. It's it's pretty grim in here, even though it was improved somewhat by Dwarf Bill. Mm. Simply an animal's den, after all. And Dragul will will walk out and and o over, I suppose, will climb back over uh, the Chimera kind of gingerly holding the staff away from himself. Past uh, Aya and Samurai Jake. Hmm. Horace, are you back? Yes, you know. Well, Vendrick, you've successfully uh, harvested all of these. But, uh, I mean, you know that you're not carrying this all by back for yourself. Eh, now we need to think of the logistics of getting this back home. Is that what we are doing now? Simply going back to town? That's sort of the plan. Unless you have some other uh, tasks you want to attend to. I could do this. I could repose them, and then we could rest. Probably a good idea anyway. How many are there? Three. Then he looks down this. at the three chimera heads. <laughs> and then, do you want to do it for the hag heads as well? I got you another one. Yeah, probably for the best. I also might have spoken with it. The seer is apparently known to them. I could do... I could speak with the other one, but... Hags are rather connected with divination. It's not surprising um, they would at least be aware of some other diviner. They said she was incredibly powerful. That's not I surprising. Could, I could try to find out more information, but 
I would be at the end of my rope at that point. I think that we've gained all the information we need, at least for the time being. Did you guys find anything in that cave, uh, Gregor? Uh, I have found this evil stick. And he'll hold out the, uh, the withering stick, kind of at arm's length. That is rather menacing. Yes, I... Do not enjoy touching it. I would any of you I, like it very much? I, I would be able to hold it for you. Please, uh, be be my guest. And he'll he'll pass over the evil stick. As I'm gonna take a hold of it, I'm going to immediately cast remove curse on it. <laughs> You, uh, imagine that your spell succeeds? Okay. If no. there was a curse on it, we if don't If there know was a curse that. on it, if there was a curse on it, we'll never know. No. I have been awake for many hours. I think we will lay down. Well, we have plenty of brush to hide in. <laughs> yeah, again, Dragul kind of effortlessly walks through and into the brush and disappears into it. Completely disappears into it. Um, and Tootsie will fly up onto this roof and curl up, but, but she'll only curl up after doing, like, I don't know, like an 800 degree rotation. Mm hmm. Yeah. As as one does when when they're uh, curling up. up on a root. <laughs> can and I, then, uh, uh, then I've got to oh, be yeah, right back. Can I also uh, rip the tails off these dogs? Yes. Are you ripping them or cutting them? I'll I'm cut just them. kidding. I'll you cut. cut them. They uh they get that you know, your trusty sword gets the job done. For, or sorry, your your trusty uh, hammer, I guess. War hammer. It's a good job. I, hold on. <laughs> I, I have do a, love this idea of fucking uh, of uh, I have a just being like Vendrick over here saying I'm bad at at cutting things off, and then you rip the dog's tail off. <laughs> yeah. I'll rip it off. Yeah, you, you say yourself uh, to a hammer, everything is a nail. Bump. Okay. And uh, you notice as you were, uh, you didn't notice this at first for some reason, but um, at, you know, you successfully get the, the tail. But you look back at the hag and you notice that, you know, one of her eyes doesn't look correct. Doesn't look like an eye. Hmm. And then you remember that it, would, that it was uh, flashing in the battle. Hmm. I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to. I'm gonna call Aya over. Okay. And be like, you're into weird face shit, right? Uh, you're a freak. I, I, <laughs> if that's the word you want to put to it, sure. What is it? What does this eye look like to you? It doesn't look right to me. And I'll and I'll show her this observation that I've made. Chat, I swear to God. Get down. Okay. Um, here, let me... Let me see something real quick. This would probably be Arcana. This would make sense. Okay. Firstly, I'm going to... Do you mind if I take a hold of it for a little bit? Well, I mean, we should get dinner first. No, I'm... <laughs> Forest, you're hilarious. I meant the eye. Oh, oh, yeah. All right. As I'm going to ritualistically cast detect magic, to, in okay. order to, in order to get a feel of what school of magic or aura that this I, item, if it does have one, um, if it emits anything. Hmm. 
it's, uh, I would say, it's vaguely, vaguely magical. Okay. That's all I needed to know. So by the end of doing this, I, my, my little muttering and whatever, I'm going to cast uh, Borrowed Knowledge. And I'm going to get proficiency in Arcana. Okay. And then I want to uh, roll an Arcana check on this magical eyeball that I'm looking at. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. You know exactly what this is. This is a hag's eye. It's made out of obsidian. Um, the value of this is any one of her group, uh, in the, any any one of the hags in the Hag Coven, could choose to remotely view through this eye, even if she wasn't the one with it in her head. Okay, mm -hmm. that explains how we were getting watched. Um, do I know if it does anything else? Doesn't appear so. Okay. Would her having this instead of the other the other ones make her the leader of the coven? Um, do a history check. Okay. Mm. Uh, you don't really think so. You know, co Hag Covens, from what you know about Hag Covens, they're pretty, uh, Hags bicker and argue a lot, you know? So the reason there's three of them is because uh, whenever there's a, a question about what to do, they put it to a vote. So there's not really a leader. She was probably okay. just chosen to have this thing. Okay. Um, at least with my arcana roll, would I know that I'd be able to use this to be able to also scry, or would I need to be part of a, a coven to use it? With your arcana roll, you would know that it's possible it's possible to magically rewire this thing, so to speak. But okay. you know it would be difficult. Okay. Do I know if they come in pairs? You do not know that. Okay. Um, it's, um... Oh, this is going to sound obvious. This is a hag's eye. Do you oh, know that I thought it wasn't. Thing? Yeah, it's an... It's a... It's a magical object oh. created for a hag that when bestowed upon her, it allows her to scry on things even though she is not So you know how we were getting watched in the woods last night? Yeah. It's probably this. Uh, well, can we use it or it's only for a hag? We could, but it's incredibly difficult. Well, I'm sure you could do it. You're basically like a hag. <laughs> Horace, what's your fir your first, middle, and last name? Um, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't tell you that. <laughs> All right, just what is your last name? Bold. Bold. Not my word at all. Horace the Bold. That's middle name V. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, that's what she. That's what she said. This the Horace the Bold. Yes, ma'am. I I am not, nor will I ever be, a damn hag. Please keep that in mind for the future. I found that very offensive. Oh, well, I wasn't trying to be offensive. I was just saying. Yeah, like, you know, you're a fae, they're a fae. You're both haggish. Not, not all fae are built the same. 
And just because I have magic that might seem more inclined with what a hag can do does not mean that I am a hag. But isn't that what a hag would say? No, it's not what a hag would say. Would a hag cut off another one's head? No, that question wasn't rhetorical. <laughs> he was asking it as a request. That's why he said no, that's not what a hag would say. <laughs> Well, I feel like a hag would cut off another hag's head if it brought her more power. It's not like hags are loyal to each other. They are if they're bound to a coven. But you would be from a different coven because you're not from around here. I am not in a coven, nor do I ever want to be in. Just like something someone in a coven would say. Horus, I'm going to put this to you as bluntly as possible. If I become a hag, I would no longer be me. I would be a hag. I and would I would, no longer, and I would still I would not, be your friend, no, but I would have would to not, kill you, but it would make me sad. No, you would not be my friend, because I would mentally take over your mind, and I would seduce you, and... Try to be able to manipulate you in any way possible to anything that you would not want to do. That is what a hag does. You can see Horace looks kind of excited by this. Horace, you're the redeemed. Am I right or am I right? Oh, no, no. I was just... I was thinking about something else. It better be dead puppies and get that smirk off your face. Like, yes, ma'am. Just points at the hag. You want to be seduced by that? Do you want that on you? Because that will pretend to be a woman and then seduce you. And then you'll come out of it realizing that it's that. Well, yeah, but that, that would be bring... after. No, that wouldn't be after. That would be during. And that's if you're lucky. That's if you somehow had the will strong enough to be able to knock yourself into some sense. Never I'm underestimate pretty, I'm pretty the, willful. Never guys, underestimate the enchantments of a hag. Guys, I'm getting confused here. Is 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 she the hag man? I yeah, she's and hag. she's hitting on me, and I'm oh my God, I'm, I'm not. sworn to Yasni. Dragul or Vendrick, please, someone, anyone, please. I'm, I am asleep. <laughs> I'm going to safely stay out of this conversation. Very as much. Like cleaning asleep. a sword. I, no, you're very, I, you're very beautiful for a hag, but I am sworn to a vow of chastity. I am married <laughs> with three children. He's got the belt. That's why he's got the belt. That's why I have this belt. <laughs> the solid metal <laughs> underwear. Oh my word! Draco would have your face if he heard you talking. <laughs> <laughs> these are my, these are my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but the Yasnik pal Paladin couldn't have uh, uh, have harassed that woman, sir, as you can clearly see. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should probably get some sleep. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, or is it morning? It's basically noon. Sun is high in the sky. Well, we should probably get going. Right, I think I'm Dragul sleepy. is sleeping. I need to rest. We taking at least a short rest, I imagine. Is that kind hey, of you guys got a concept? You guys I'll got take a, a short hour, rest, right? Is it a half hour or an hour for? It is rest? an hour for a short rest. Oh, yeah, I would yeah. say you guys get a. You guys got an hour to muck about. Okay. And Are we, we taking can, a can, short rest? Yeah. And I can roll as many hit dice on a short rest as I want to, right? Yes. I mean, with, of, of the ones that I have, obviously. You can only regain half of your max per long rest. So you can't run out. Wait, say that again? I'm pretty sure you can only regain half oh, of your hit dice per Half of your hit dice rest. per long rest, yeah. Correct. Yeah. So. 
Um, let's see. All right, I'm gonna. I'm oh, gonna don't roll. forget to add your con to those. Uh, it should do it automatically, I think. Okay, it does. Looks like plus four in there, yeah. I'm just gonna roll mine and then I'll add my con, like total. Mm -hmm. I will channel divinity twice and then I'll get some spell slots back. Oh, look at that! Damn. My hit dice does say 11, but I'm pretty sure I used four of them a couple of sessions ago. So. Ooh. That gets me almost a mile. I'm gonna leave it there. Half my hit dice. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably good enough. That should be good. Now, I don't get my lay on hands back until a, sh a long rest, so... And I did channel my divinity. Ah, fuck it. Ooh, that's not great. <laughs> well, I, get, I do get to add some con to that. But... So 34. In the, in the downtime, Mm -hmm. Um, I believe it says that you can take light activities. What light um, activity would you like to take? Could taking... S I already have some rope, but mm -hmm. taking some of these very, very healthy vines that are around us, yes. can I start basically winding up some twine? Yeah, you can do that. Basically just braiding twine. Sure. Just gonna type. Yeah. I suppose we should think about how to get these heads back to town. Yeah, I mean, are they? How big are they? Fairly large. I can. I could carry some. I could summon a steed, and we could load it up like a pack mule. That could um, work. Quick question: Did yes. oh, I'm at, I, did, I actually did I did I, re, did I have time to um, repose the heads that I needed to repose? Were you? I didn't know you were trying to do that. Were you trying um, to repose everything? I I needed to know for like travel sake if if we do need them reposed i will do that but if we don't then i won't i just need to know is it a ritual cast or it is a ritual cast but it's also a necromancy spell uh you're asking you're... if you have time to repose these people repose the heads that i need to repose it would take 30 minutes just yeah, so that's a yeah, so that the would... so that the heads don't deteriorate on our way back. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, yes. You could totally do that. Take your time and okay. and do that. Okay. Do we want the hag heads done too? Well, they're just scalps, right? Yeah, I think I we can let the scalps. I do oh, we too. should probably do the hag head, but the scalps we can just let like they're like jerky. They'll yeah. dry out. <laughs> Why are you just in the laundry room meowing at yourself? Um, I I don't know. I just like doing that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Horus, okay. can you summon another uh, rhino, or are you yeah. tapped out? Um, I can some. I can cast. I can cast my regular fine steed with my third level spell slot. Unfortunately, I used my fourth level spell slot already. I only had one. But I can I can cast just a like a mule. Um, we can load Tootsie these up. Heads again, right? I mind. You say you don't mind? No, uh, I'll, I'll carry him. It's treasure, right? Yeah. And I can get one of my own because uh, I can cast Phantom Steed. 
There we go. So I think with the three of us, we can each take diff a different head. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Certainly. And you're going to put it on your pack animal, I guess? It's probably the way to go. Hey, I'm not a pack animal. <laughs> this is um, a favor. Thank you. Ven Vendrick will pass out that twine that he's been in making just to help twine stuff down. Very smart. Otherwise, you're going to have to you know, open up its mouth and drape it over your pack handle. Yeah. Wait, was all the overgrowth just a bunch of jute? A bunch of what? Jute, it like what they make? It's what they make twine from. Jute. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I mean, it, it certainly was. It certainly was uh, co-opted into uh, into twine. Although, you know, it, it would take a a decently high nature check to know exactly what it is. You, which you're welcome to do if you want, Jacob Kane. No, I don't know nothing about plants. Just the ocean, dude. All right, you guys all uh, packed up. Anything else you're doing? Uh, no, I, at least I think we're good to set off. I'm good. All right. Sounds good. Um, you know, I would say that it's at, you know, at least a full day's travel uh, back to the edge of the forest. But, you know, I'd say you guys travel on your way. You know, I, I mean, <laughs> if you guys want to get started. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we definitely got to get started. Yeah, sure. Well, let's get going, gentlemen. So I would say, you know, you, you're going on your way, um, and you pass by your old campsite. Oh, yeah. How's it doing? Uh, you know, the uh, it's a little smelly, actually. There's a big old pile of bodies. Big old pile of bodies. All uh, scalpless. All scalped. And tailless. Looks like some some absolute savages came in through here. Um, let's see. Uh, are you guys basically just trying to make good time, or are you guys going to mull over here again? Or I, I think we're in marching formation, right? Like that kind of just heading heading home. Okay. Um, well, we're heading to Voight's Vineyard, right? Because he wanted us to prove that we killed the Chimera. Yeah. 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 I believe Voight wanted the uh, the Ram's Head. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's see. Who is first in line? If anybody. I will travel ahead. And uh, Dragul will, will travel stealth through the undergrowth and range ahead as a ranger. Mm. Uh, should I roll stealth, DM? Yes. Oh, good. Ooh. You think you are? But, uh, you know, you know, Tootsie, I imagine Tootsie's shimmery sometimes. Tootsie's uh, breathing hard because Tootsie's yeah. carrying a big head. Tootsie's <laughs> breathing really hard. <laughs> crashing <laughs> through. Crashing Which head through are you carrying right now, Tootsie? Itchy. Uh, who has what head? Did somebody claim one already? I have not. I claimed have a hag head. Go ahead and claim uh, one of the one of the heads. I'll take, Tootsie. I'll take the goat head. All right. All right. Tootsie, Tootsie will have the largest one. She'll have the lion's head. Okay. And yeah, that's, you're that's, crashing through the brush. I'm uh, sorry, boss. You've got this idea that you're hidden, and that's all that matters. But actually, the giant lion's head on your back is in full view. Yes. Uh, Tootsie, I but, want you to make a perception check for me, just for fun. For, uh, Tootsie or yes. uh, Dragul? Okay, Tootsie will. Well, I mean, I guess both of you are. Which one of you is scouting ahead? Uh, both of us. Okay, well then, uh, yeah, one of you guys... Here, Whichever Dragul, one you prefer. Dragul will make it because he's the character. Hmm. Not great rolling. Well, yeah, it just looks like it. Looks like you left it, you know? It's uh, 
a busted, decrepit campsite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he'll, uh... <laughs> He'll leave a, a marker that he had um, prearranged with, we'll say Vendrick. And it's okay. just like a uh, um, a stalk of a plant that he'll post up like a flag on like this a calling log. sign. Yeah, to, you to show here. that it's that I, that Dragul was here and that it seems safe. And he'll continue to sc scout along the stealthfully. All right. All right. You all, uh, the rest of you come along and you see this stick in the middle, like right, right over all these bodies. What do you guys, uh, what do you guys think? Let me put this stick here. I believe that was, uh, Dragul. Probably fine. You all, uh, continue on. Now, I nope. will say. Dragul did not explain to me exactly what he meant when he said, I'll put a stick down to mark ahead. He neglected to tell me whether that meant it was good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a very good ranger. I'm well, very so tired. Oh, shit, there he is. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Still. He, run, he runs back off into the woods. <laughs> 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 Does he following just breaking branches and shit? Ah, this is heavy. Tootsie, Crashing through the forest. Please stop complaining. <laughs> we are the trees themselves. The yes. lion's head has a bunch of trees and branches in it. Because, like, it's fucking ran into a Plus, <laughs> I think I stepped in some poison ivy. It really itches. <laughs> I suppose that's where we'll follow, since Tootsie's so kindly making us a path. Thank you, I Tootsie. Should I should probably mention, before we get back, I did find out that, yes, the Fae, I mean, if it wasn't obvious, yes, the hags and the red caps did slay the foreman for that Chumley fellow we first met. Ah. That seems we've solved two problems. Well, you guys travel along and it's getting dark. You guys, uh, let's see. You guys are, you know, you guys are all marching along. And you come back onto this familiar territory. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I would say that you all put yourself you know, right about here. All uh right. -huh. And as you're walking, oh, did this guy pop out? Cool. As you're walking, a man steps out from behind this tree, and he sort of surprises you a little bit. Uh, and he says, "Stop." Um. <laughs> Dragul, totally convinced of his stealth does stop, but does not believe that he is seen. <laughs> you there, with the giant lion's head on your, uh... uh on your back. Me? Yes, of course. The one trampling through the forest, making lots of noise. Yeah, I, I think we've been made, boss. Uh, Tr Tracool will step forward. Not from hiding. Is Who is he... it that addresses us? Oh, you don't need to know my name. But it appears that you all were successful in killing the Chimera, judging by the heads that you're all carrying. 
sort of surprising. Someone so inept at moving through the forest we, silently was able to take that creature down. We we found it like this. He looks at you like someone like a like an annoyed librarian would over her glasses. You know, he's like, "You okay?" I well, I could clearly see that you hacked off its head, and if you found it. I want you to give it to me. Now, why would I give anything to a random man I met in the woods? Because if you don't, things could go bad for you. It's meaningless. So, Hand it over. You Is know, you party? still haven't said your name. I didn't give you my name. But you can call me Woodsman if you want. Well, Woodsman... I would kindly ask you to disappear back into your rinky-dink little woods and let us be on our way. He says, that's not an option. Hand it over now. And you have a decision. You think that I haven't been waylaid by bandits before? He whistles. And uh, two other guys, or actually three other guys appear. I mean, how do three I other that? guys. <laughs> I'm trying to make them appear. <clears throat> Dun -da -da. Incredibly surprising that you would not have others with you. I want you to roll that? initiative. How do I clear this? Oh, you're going in for the attack already. This can stop as soon as you hand it over. We're under contract, and we need that head. Ah, damn, it, I wasn't holding my thing. It's a shame, because we are too. Under oh, we know, have you we seen, have we seen what's going on here? Uh, yeah, you would. You guys all see it. It's uh, you're you know he's, you're coming up behind him. We, right. We come around the bend, I imagine, as he says that. Yeah. And Fedrick's never alerted. He he never surprised. He knew this was happening. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Where are the Aya? other? Where are the other guys? Oh, you don't uh, see them? They're zoomed. They're you gotta zoom out a little bit. Oh, okay, they're they're out on the ridges and stuff. I see them now. Mm -hmm. I think they actually set up a thing, uh, Nate, where if you right click, you can ping everyone now. Right click and if hold like, the right click. Oh wow, right ping click. everyone. Does this make it? Is this different for me? Long pressing. I think it's the same. I think it's just a way of doing it without... I thought it was going to do the thing where you shift click and drag you. Well, All right. Woodsman, you understand that you are grossly outnumbered, correct? He says... I think you'll be surprised how capable we are. Well, maybe. And I, uh, I think you'll be up. surprised at As... how capable we are. As, as I, I, as I, I's eyes are going to go black. It's like her hair is getting longer and more black. And she's going to slam the staff down. And from the hand is the hand is just going to point forward. And it's going to be to, uh, told the dead. Told the dead. And it's going to be at save. this. It's going to be at this one right here in front of Jagul. Okay. Uh, he's not very wise. Uh, 11. So he fails. So he, takes he takes 12 damage, 12 necrotic damage. All right. Let me mark that down. Save. All right. I'm Anything else? I'm done messing around. As I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move five forward up and just say I'm done messing around. All right. Dwarfadil. All right. Um, Dwarfadil looks. 
sees Dragul. Looks around. Remembers what happens with the squirrel. And he's just gonna go uh, take a seat on the edge of this hill and light up a joint. This one notices that, and he just sort of like grimaces to himself. He's like, what? All right. And uh, all right. Well, let's see. This first guy, he's going to look at you, Dragul. And he's going to pass. He's going to pass Hunter's Mark as his bonus action. And I think that just marks you, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let me find an appropriate uh, thing in my bob for it. But go ahead. Okay. And he takes a step forward, right like that, and let's see. Let's see, let's see. He is going to attack you with his knife. And uh, you all, this will be relevant here. But he's going to have advantage on you. OK. Yeah. Totally misses, I think. Yep. And then that one may hit you. Uh, that one does hit. OK. So that one. It's five damage, so it's not that much. But you need to make a DC 15 con save. Not that great con. Not bad, but... Okay, would you pass? Uh, the Hunter's Mark damage, which I think is just 1d6, right? Yep. Yep. But I am taking half that poison damage, right? Uh... Half as much half as on a success. successful. Half as much on a successful. Yes, that's right. So you want to roll for that seven d six? Yes. Oof. Okay. Well, so nine, nine. So another fourteen. I think so. All right. All right. And uh, these guys over here, they whip out their. Uh, they whip out. Let's see. They come over this way. Actually, they don't move at all. Sorry. Uh, they shoot. This guy's going to shoot. Uh, he's going to Hunter's Mark Tootsie. And he's going to Longbow twice. Of course, with Assassinate. So he has advantage on both. So 21 and 23. Um. On Tootsie, I assume that hits. Yeah, I think uh, the mm, yeah the wings are gonna come out. The metal wings are gonna come out and block the twenty-one. Okay. Fair like enough. as as uh, bronze wings pop out and block that. So she takes the eight, has to roll a con. Correct. So and this is for the hunter's mark on her. Flat six. Has to roll a con, uh, which is at plus two. So only a 13. So Tootsie takes the uh, the full the full amount. So another 27. All right. Or plus the eight from the longbow. I already and put then, the eight uh, on. Okay. So yeah, 27 plus the eight. All right. And this guy shoots at Dragul as well with his longbow. A 21 and a 24. Those are both going to hit. And then uh, this guy is going to move down here and shoot at Jacob Kane twice. Uh, well, hold on. Do I need to do cons for the longbow and all that before we move yes, on to the, you will. the next stuff? Yep. Okay. And then damage for, for the, the poisoned weapons? Correct. All right. First con, second con. Okay, both passed. Wow, big damage, though. Big uh, damage. Okay, and they're not hunters marked or anything, so it's just Correct. the damage just, plus uh, that. So 19, uh, 
uh, plus 11. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Cool. Yep, and then the uh, the other two shots on you, Jacob Kane. Uh, the 21 will bow. hit. Okay. And then uh, roll a uh, con save. Uh -oh. oh. Dracul is down. Really? Okay. Okay, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and roll my deflect missiles before the con save. I'm not sure how that affects poison damage from a projectile. But I'll go ahead and roll the con save, too. I did not make the con save. Alright. But I reduce damage by 14 in theory. Alright, so I take 19. Okay. Dragul. Roll a... I suppose I roll a death save. A death save, yes. Yeah. And, uh, Tootsie can act as well. Yes. Uh, death save, that's just a regular con, right? Or is it flat d20? It's been a minute since I've rolled one. Uh, a, I actually don't know. It's a flat d20. If you actually click the thing that says death saves... Oh, it'll it do will, it? Uh, yeah, it'll do it for you. Okay. Well, 13 right, well, that's a pass. That's a success. That's a save. Uh, and then Tootsie will jump over Dragul. Uh, cause she, she doesn't, she can just do her stuff now. To be like, eat shit, asshole! And sh she'll, uh, try to bite him. For an 18. You hit. Uh, never mind the dueling style favorite foe stuff. So just nine. Nine total? Okay, Roger. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that will be the Dragul's turn. Roger. Jacob Kane. All right, Jacob Kane. Oh, just not close enough. I, I'll, I got Dragul. Well, that's not a problem. I, I, can, I can get him up. Uh, I'm five feet too short of this guy, so I'm going to spend a key point to dash as a bonus action. All right. So I can make it to him. Then I raise perfection into the air and sunlight shines off of its blade. And I whiff it yeah. hard. Ooh. Oh. And for the first time in a long while, I, perfection goes down by actually plus three, but it's an auto fail, right? Because of one. That's true, but it's a it's a it's a plus plus two now. Yeah, it's only a plus two now. Uh, but I am going to with my offhand punch him. All right, that hits. And. Roll the damage, I'm gonna stunning strike him. So he needs okay. to make a con save. Let's see. Con save, you said? Yep. Okay. Uh, he makes it. Okay. Oh. He uh, looks at you very angry. I look at him like He's just committed a party foul, and that's Jacob Kane's turn. All right, Vendrick of Cohen. All right, is uh, I guess the thing that determines what I do. Am I still mounted? Uh, that would be up to you. Uh, if I'm still mounted, my Phantom Steed has a movement of a hundred feet. Uh, let's see. If that's the case. Worried about them there. Uh, okay, I got an idea. 
Vedric is going to... Can he be mounted still? That's what I will, I will say. Sure, he can be mounted. I would like... All right. He's going to ride his horse this way um, okay. towards Dragul. He is going to then uh, put his hand out and telekinetically pull Dragul towards him as he gets off the horse, spending half his movement. Okay. So that basically Dragul ends up on the horse. All right. Uh, and he is going to send the horse back with Dragul <laughs> towards Aya. How far all does right. the horse go? It actually can get all the way back to her. It's exactly 50 there, 50 back. Right here? Uh, better. Yep. As he sort of <laughs> sort of steps down in front of this fella. Well, I suppose it's just you and me then. Hmm. You can always just give us that head in this connect. But... Take it, you know... asshole. You know how contracts are. And he's going <laughs> to pull out his sword. All right. Uh, and I'm going to make a rune in the air. Uh, and I'm going to cast haste on myself. Ooh. Uh, and using my free attack, I'm going to attack him once. Go ahead. Uh, I'm not blade song you, so I'm actually with two hands attacking. You hit. Hit. Whopping 13. And also, the yeah. blade glows infused with frost. Three more 16 total. All right. All right. He oh, takes that slash. Anything else? Uh, that is it for Vendor. All right, Horace. These people want to take your loot. Well, they ain't getting that. Now, I got to say that I'm going to leave my mule behind because, right. you know, it's not going to do me much good. And I wasn't, I was leading it. And I wasn't riding it. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and move towards this guy. <clears throat> now my sea dwarf plate does restrict my movement. Is it half, Garrett? Do you remember how slow I am in this? I think it's 10 feet. 10 reduces... feet? Oh, it reduces it by 10 feet? Yeah. Okay, so I can move 20 feet, so I'm going to get to here. Um, and then <laughs> I'm out of range of my javelin, even. So I'm going to dash. I'm going to dash. I'm going to get another 20 feet to here. All right. And I'm going to... Uh, I don't have it. Like, that's, I'm just, that's what I'm doing. I'm dashing. <laughs> okay. All right, Aya. A, All right. A, a, a phantom steed brings Dragul back to you. As I'm on a five foot right there, and then on Dragul, I'm going to, at level two, cast um, Cure Wounds. So, I don't know why it's doing all of this nonsense. Oh, goodness. Hang on. Okay, I don't know why you're doing all that, so... You, it rolled it rolled a d8 plus four so that's gonna be 11 mm -hmm. and then it's gonna roll an additional d8 and that it turned out to be seven so it's 18. okay so 18. Ooh. this extra healing two does is nothing yeah I don't know what that's there for <laughs> all right it like yeah, Dragul wakes up on a horse <laughs> all right you put your hands over Dragul. a golden light sort of shimmers from your hands and then onto him and Dragul, you wake up. Oh. oh. Thank you. As, like, you'll you'll see that Aya's, like, hair, like, glowed for a second, and then, like, immediately she's, like, gr like going back to black again. As, uh... She's gonna stay right there, because I'm not moving forward to get shot with arrows. Okay. Uh, Dwarfadil. You still smoking your joint? All right, uh, Torfidil will use some of his extra hot energy here. Okay. Go, <laughs> oh, hey man, you should drop that sword. And he's gonna heat metal. The guy who's <laughs> coming up to him. 
<laughs> Which one? I, is this guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Heat metal. All yep. right. Okay. Heat metal is so good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, okay, so you heat his metal, and he takes. Uh, let's see. What's is there a save that he's got to roll? Yeah, he makes a con save. Okay. Oh, he fails it. So he fails it. So he drops a sword. Oof. And Dropped. takes 10 damage. All right. All right. Let's mark that down. All right. Sword dropped. All right. And Dorfadil will take another puff of his nondescript smoking. Thing, nondescript smoking thing. Okay. Yeah, I gotta keep it. Uh, gotta keep PG for the YouTubers. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, these guys turn. Let's see. Uh, let's see. This guy right here is standing in front of Tootsie. He's gonna knife Tootsie once, and uh, let's see. First one's gonna be Tootsie. Let's just roll that. 10, which is a Definitely miss, miss, I'm sure. Um, then he rolls the next one, which is just a 12. So I assume that's going to miss Vendrick as well. Yes. Okay. Let's see, i got to read this thing. All right. These guys right here are also going to shoot at you. Um, this guy right. is going to shoot at Tootsie first. Uh, and he's going to use his uh, longbow. That does miss. All right. And he's going to shoot his next one, which it also misses. Uh, second guy is going to shoot twice at Vendrick. Yep. Longbow one. 15 and with this one he's going to potentially use this is if it hits the 23 all right yeah this is gonna hit all right nine the nine plus the sneak attack yes Plus 16. 16. So that is... Plus the con for poison. Yeah, I'm just mm -hmm. gonna I'm gonna do the one first, just so that I mentally it's easy. Yeah. Uh, and then I will do the con. Uh, which I will send you this, Nate. Okay. Damn, that's um, nasty poison. Yeah, yeah get some of that shit. That's brutal. I uh get vintage on this. Oof, unfortunately, I do fail at that. But it's not as bad as it is. Alright. Oof. You get hit with an absurdly strong arrow. Yeah. And uh, this guy right here, let's see, he doesn't have... He doesn't have his sword in his hand. Let's see, he's gonna He's gonna make one of his attacks as an attempt to shove. So he's gonna try to shove you, Jacob Kane. Alright. Contested strength. Which is just a six. And then uh Alright, well, you uh You're not rebuffed by that. And he takes an arrow. And he tries to shoot at you. But I guess it's at disadvantage since you're right in front of him. Is that correct? At point blank range? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a miss. Uh, that ends all of them. Oh, the arrows I'm are flying. Do something real quick. Go ahead. I have to make a con, or I have to make two con saves. One against the attack and one against the poison that I failed. I see. And I have to beat a 12 and a 10. So I have to beat, this is going to be against the 12. 
Hold on, let me just make sure I don't have anything that gives me advantage on. What is this? What is this for? The first one is a uh... concentration. Is... I think concentration. Yeah, the... These are concentrations right. for my haste. I see. Oh, okay. Uh, first one is the twelve. Oh crap! I I meant to roll. Well, it should be with con, so it's only a plus four. So that is eleven plus four. One, two, three, four. So that'd be fifteen. Okay, so I'd pass say you the pass. First one. Yep. And then the second one is a thirteen. I passed the ten. All right. Cool. All right. right. That, was, that was just all hit. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Dragul, get revenge right. on these guys. Dragul is is on a horse. It can move a hundred feet. <laughs> is this a uh, bad terrain? No, standard terrain. So yeah, I mean, he's gonna move up here on the horse, uh, drawing uh, his broken sword, which the guy didn't even let him draw first. He looks at you, perplexed that you're back already. I am back already. And uh, he'll make a strike. Okay. 23. Okay, well, that does hit. Uh, he is going to favored foe this jerk. Okay. Um. And then. 13. There we go. Not, ignore that last seven. Sorry about that. Okay. So 13. 17 all day. Sure. And then another oh. attack. Another that 23. Hits. Yep. Oh. For 19 damage. This guy is hanging on by a thread. He's bleeding out right in front of you. Tootsie lunges for the throat. Only an 11. And whiffs. He looks over at you and smirks a bit. Tootsie is going to... Hold on. No, she's going to stay right there for right now. All right. Uh, and that will be Triggle's turn. Roger. Jacob Kane. All right, Jacob Kane will... step around the side of this guy... Raise perfection high into the air again, only this time not shining off the sun and into his own eyes. And bring it down. You hit. Perfection slices into him, and you feel like the spirit inside of perfection is proud of you, making it a plus three again. And then I I punch him. Oof, the punch misses. But you do hit with the 13 damage. All right, and then I will, as a bonus action, punch again. That hits. For 11 bludgeoning. Ooh, right in the jaw. And I'll say, All right. Horace, dude, get him. And that's Jacob Kane's turn. All right. Vendrick. Vendrick, uh, he, he just whirls around uh, and... He's going to use one of his attacks to... This is one of his regular attack action attacks. Uh, oh! Nice. Oof. Oofa doofa. That is uh, 17 points of damage. This guy looks over at Dragul, smirking at him. Your sword comes... I assume it's a sword. Yeah, your sword yeah. comes right at him. Thunk, chops his head it, right off. I was going to say, yeah, Vendrick does this, like, really dramatic kind of, real dramatic and quick just spin and beheads him. <laughs> um, it's over. What kind it's of over. bandits attack when they don't have the numbers? Dead ones. <laughs> as uh, Vendrick, he starts humming to himself uh, as a bonus action, blade songing. All right. Uh, and then he is going to use his haste action to dash. 
uh, which will easily get him to here. Okay. And I will use my second uh, attack on this fellow. Ooh, that one does miss. Do you even need to do that? Because your your speed is already doubled, right? Is it doubled? Because of haste? I actually don't remember. I thought haste did that. Yeah, I don't think you need to... I think it is doubled. If it is, then I, I will have... Target speed dashed. is doubled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So go I'm, ahead I'm... and take a, take a couple, couple more yeah. attacks, man. I it, it, it's why main score was so fast. Yeah. Instead of taking the attack act, or instead of using my haste action to dash, I am going to make a single weapon attack. If that is okay. okay. Yes. All right, that one definitely hits. All right. Ooh, for nine. All right. Swoop. He's moving. This old man is moving fast as fuck. <laughs> Forest. And that is. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Horus is about to redeem this woodman in the face with his with his warhammer, which I am which I am going to name the Redeemer. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna thwack him with the warhammer. Hopefully, 19. Okay, as you swing this hammer, the Redeemer, you hear a extremely everyone around you. Here's an extremely faint uh, heavenly choir sound. <laughs> but you can't be sure that you heard it or not. But uh, either way, that certainly hits. Oh, hell yeah. For a total 19. of 19 bludgeoning damage. All right. Uh, but as it appears that he is beaten, bloodied but not beaten, I'm going to go ahead and swing again. Do it. Or 15. Unfortunately, that does miss. Because I hit him so hard the first time that I was off balance. Uh-huh. <laughs> happens to the best of us. Uh, but I will... Uh, I'll move five feet to the north here just to stay... Like, still within striking distance, but I'm trying to... Because I can't... Oh, wait. Yeah, I only move 15. Because I can't move super fast, so I gotta get... I gotta get a running start here. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I assume that's turn. That's turn. Aya. As Aya's going to do what she did first turn, she's going to step forward. She's going to cast Toll the Dead at the one that Vendrick is attacking. So it's okay. a little bit more, a little bit more oomph. Uh, DC no, 16. no, but DC sixteen, but it's D twelve typically. Okay. So uh, he fails it, I guess. And does he take he extra damage because it's uh, he is damaged already? Yes. Yeah, he takes well, they, 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 yeah, they get upgraded to D12. But I okay. rolled luck. Oh, I see. I see. So he still takes nine damage, yeah? Yep. Okay. Um, and I'm going to step 15 feet back behind the safety of the trees. Very smart. Okay. Dwarfadil. All All right. How's, how's this guy looking next to me? Uh, he's seen better days. He's just been redeemed in the head by, by mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dorfadil, completely out of character, will uh, go up and smack him. All right. It's a... Uh... I'll, I'll give you a bit. Better. Con save? Yep. 21. Ooh, he makes it. Uh, he takes nothing. You put your hand forward. Poof. And he's like, is that supposed to do something? And he looks right back at you. And he, uh, well, he doesn't have his knife, I guess. Uh, but he still, uh, he puts his hunter's mark on you with his bonus action. Uh -oh. And then, uh, Longbows you twice as an attempt. But he has disadvantage. Well, that one's probably going to hit. <laughs> and uh, that one's going to miss. So right, how much? let's see. He does, well, he does 10 damage, but you make a DC con save. Okay. Uh, 
and uh, two additional Hunter's Mark damage. All right, so you take half of 21 as additional. So I think the total is that that's 10 plus 10 plus two from Hunter's Mark. Okay, so uh, how you doing? Mm -hmm. The guy in front of Vendrick, he is going to knife you twice as an attempt. All right. Nice. <laughs> so six and seven, total miss. Yeah. This Vendrick guy is swinging his blade around to a point that it's kind of dangerous to get near him. It is dangerous. <laughs> this guy, uh, he moves around up here and attempts to shoot at you twice. Uh, this first one is going to have the sneak attack since you're next to his buddy. All right. Yeah. The, uh... 21 is going to miss. Okay, good. And then uh, this next one's just a standard attack. 13, so 13 he misses. Will miss. I forgot about that haste AC. That's pretty, exactly. that's pretty good. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, uh, Vendrick's like just whirling and, and twirling around to a point that it's hard to actually like get a bead on him. Uh huh. Missed all the attacks. You're just like flitting around. Dragul. Yeah. All right. Uh, Dragul has got a lot of movement, like a hundred feet, right? Mm -hmm. On the horse, yes. Yeah. So it'll move. 70 to here um and he'll fuck it it lasts an hour so he'll cast a hunter's mark on this guy in the back as a okay. bonus action Roger. um let me tick that off so i don't forget but he is not going to make an action instead he's going to transfer his action to tootsie He's gonna move. Here. And open her big old mouth. And out of it a humongous blast of cold air is gonna pop out in a 30-foot cone. Alright. To crack both of these jerks. Okay. Is there a way to do that so that Vendrick doesn't get hit? I believe so. Can I get a cone? Let's see. Yeah, because I think it isn't it one square, three squares, five squares. So I, I, I assume I can position it so that the edge of the cone would it, do yeah, like, that. It like that. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I'll say that works. Thirty foot cone. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, both can both can do it. Uh, is that a what kind of a save is that? That's a dexterity save. That is a dexterity save against my spell save, which isn't that high. It's only fourteen. Okay. These guys are quite dexterous. Well, I hope they fumble. I hope so too. Let's see. Okay, that <laughs> one crit Perfect. fails, and the uh, next one gets a fifteen, in which, which does pass. Which does pass. Okay. Yeah. So which one? Let's see, which one were you attacking first? I guess the one that's a little bit closer to you in this cone. He's going, right. he's going to be the one that fails. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, 8d6 damage. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, go ahead and roll that. These woodsmen have evasion. So if they fail on a dex save, they take half damage. Uh, I think they take no damage if they fail and only half if they pass. Other way around. Woodsman takes oh. no damage if it succeeds yeah. and half oh. if it fails. It's it's other way around. Gum if bomber. They, if they fail, they take half. If they pass, they take no. That's okay. Stinky. This guy on the left takes 13, though. Stinky he's, rogues. He's looking a little worse for the wear. All right. Well, I mean, that is going to be uh, Dragul's turn, then. All right, Jacob Kane. I uh, I swing perfection out to the side, careful not to hit my bros, and then I swing it back across horizontally. That's a miss. Damn. And you feel the spirits inside. 
Did you have the plus three on that? That has plus three on it, yeah. Okay. You feel the spirit inside angry with you, and it goes down to a plus two. It's wild swings on my confidence are a total bummer, dude. And then he <laughs> he tries to punch the guy, and he does a better Which job. Which lands no problem. For seven. Seven. And then... You guy punch... You, uh... Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, you punch this guy right in the teeth, knocking all of them out, and he flops over dead. Can I have, have it so it knocks him down that little, uh, berm? He falls down go. the berm as well. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and then, uh... All that's left are teeth on the ground. <laughs> Jake just says, My bros! And... What does he got? He's got 45 feet of movement. And sure, why not spend the key to to run valiantly further into battle with a dash? Right over there. That concludes Jacob Kane. Alright, Vendrick. Alright, Vendrick is going to uh, use his haste attack, swing once at the guy in front of him. Okay, that hits. D does that get him DM? No. Uh, well then, there will be a, an extra five cold damage on an infused strike. All right. Stab the 16 then, I guess, with that? Yes. Uh, Vendrick bonus action is going to reach out to the other guy. Uh, he has to make strength save. He's trying to pull him towards him. Ooh, okay. Oh, he gets sucked in. He spins around. No, this is his attack action. Okay. He's going to attack that guy, swinging at him for 14, which I believe misses. Unfortunately, it does miss. Um, and then hits the... Uh, is going to sort of flow into that swing with the second swing at the guy in front of him that he's been hitting. And that does hit. For a seven. For another seven. All swipe, right. Swipe, snicker swipe, as he is uh, just very, very very dangerous as he is spinning around huh. uh, and that is it for his turn okay uh horus your way over here horus uh seeing that the, the the fight is mostly far away from him at this juncture is gonna sort of be like wait for me guys wait for me and he's <laughs> gonna he's gonna dash as he slowly makes his way he's sort of <laughs> lumbering huh. He's breathing heavy in his armor. He's like, no, we should fight in enclosed spaces. <laughs> and that's going to be his turn. All right, Aya. All right, I'm going to go right here. And then I'm going to go like right there. OK. Uh, You said it was like close to dark, right? Yes. OK. And we're in a pretty thick wood. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, would it be reasonable that one of these bandits has, like, a lantern on them to see? They do not have a lantern on them right now. Damn it! Is there any source of light on them whatsoever? They're not using it. Damn it! Okay. It is, like, the middle of the day, I believe. No, 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 no it's something. nighttime, but they don't have any lights on them. At least not okay. on right now. All right, well then, plan B, I'm just going to toll the dead, one of them. Can't go wrong I'm with gonna, toll the dead. I'm going to toll the dead, the one that's already really hurt, because I don't think the other guy's been hit yet. Not yet. Right. All right. Makes it. I don't think he takes any damage. Nothing. Takes nothing. Yeah. Ooh. All right, Dwarfido. Unless you, sorry, unless you do anything else, Aya. Mm, no, I can't do anything else. Okay, Dwarfido. Ah, uh, Dwarfido will mosey his way on over here. <laughs> Very a, quickly. Damn, he's so slight, fast. <laughs> it's slightly heavy pace. Okay, <laughs> stomping around. Yeah. <laughs> he just bolts <laughs> past Horus. <laughs> on oh. your left man oh that's it okay yeah. uh, these guys look at you and they say 
You can still oh. give up. And uh, <laughs> the one right in front of you is going to attempt to use his sneak attack on you, if this All even right. works. But he's going to knife you for 23. 23 will actually hit me. Okay. It will not, because I'm going to use my Ward of Shadow to give him disadvantage. Ah, that would be an 18 instead, which would not hit me. Okay, so that's a miss. Then he's like, what the heck? And uh, he's going to try to knife you again. Which 19 will I miss. think that misses. All right. And then uh, other guy, he does the same thing. And this one's going to be the sneak attack with the knife. All right. So that's a miss. miss. And uh, with another one, which is a also a miss. So yeah. they go, they're like looking a little sheepishly at each other. Uh, Dragul. Yeah, a little Dragool concerned. Dragul is, uh, he's going to ride the horse up around the berm. Up to here. Look down him. You are pathetic. And he will make an attack at his, uh, guy who he marked. All right. That's that's three ones in a row for the broken sword. It's a little uh, broken. 15. That is a miss. Okay. Um, one more. A 20. That does hit. Okay. Uh, for 10 damage plus Hunter's Mark plus the Infused Strike. Uh, ignore the two. Okay. All right, got it. It's a lot of damage. Yeah, uh, well, it's not that much. It's, uh, 10, 13, 17. Yeah, decent amount. Um, and then... Tootsie will barrel in and uh, take a bite at him as well. Okay. That certainly hits. So For 11? another 11. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Bite him right in the back of the leg. Is that it? I believe that is it for Dragul. All right, Jacob Kane. You've got him on the ropes. All right, dude, as I come around the berm, I'm talking to myself saying, you know how to hit people with your sword. It's easy, dude. Just, like, don't miss. And he raises perfection high and brings it down. And misses. And misses. It goes down two plus. Hey, it's still plus one sword. Uh-oh. <laughs> and, and he's like... Why is it easier with my fist, dude? And he swings with swings a punch and miss it. Fuck, dude. I'm just thinking about it too much, bros. He's like, all right. And he yell, just yells, get pitted, and throws one more unarmed strike. That does hit. Pops him right in the back of the head. For 11. Okay. And uh, he's going to stun him if he can. All right. He's and he's stunned. stunned. Now Bendrick's attacks or whoever's attacks on him will be at advantage. That's oh, Jake. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bendrick's licking his lips at this. Go ahead, Bendrick. <laughs> All right, Bendrick, he whirls around uh, with this attack. This will be his haste attack. 26. You easily slash at the perfect point. Uh, for 13. Okay. Uh, is it? Is he still up? He's he's uh, he's hanging on by a thread. All right. Well, another swing then. You easily slash his face. Four Completely eight. off. This uh, this poor woodsman. He's dead. Uh, Oof. Actually, no. Uh, Vendrick wants to knock him out. Oh, okay. So you he, hit like, him with the pommel him. then? Yeah. He he does that swirling hit like he's about to like cleave his fucking head off and uh -huh. at the last minute he like stops mid spin and then just smacks him in the head with the pommel oh all right uh, he's not dead but he's knocked with the, out with the other attack he is going to uh oh actually flavor wise 
Uh -huh. No, never mind. I can't do it from the angle of that. Never mind. Okay. All right. Actually, no. I'm just going to do this just for fun. Uh, he's going to, like, telekinetically just kind of push him safely down this berm. Just so he's out of the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> he rolls away. And then he he sort of spins into his spot and uh, does his last attack at this guy. All right. Oh, Which you hit. Advantage, so an Either way. Uh, 18 hits. Uh, for 10 slashing. Slash this guy. All right. Swipe. Uh, and that is it for Vendor. All right. Horace, you're far away. Uh, that is that is correct. Uh, is this difficult terrain? This edge? It, 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 that would take probably half your movement to get up. It's, right. uh, it's a berm. you got to climb it. All right. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to get there anyway okay so i'm gonna go 20 feet and then i'm gonna dash so it would take me double movement to get up here so that'd be 10 so can i could get to like him? here can you, oh you could certainly I, you could certainly get up there i'm up there now i'm gonna i'm gonna throw my javelin well you, I mean, you dashed horse unfortunately no, I dashed, dashed, so yes. never mind i'm gonna i'm gonna menace him I'm menacing him with my warhammer, but then I, I'm also kind of tired, so I'm like, I got my one been, hand on my knee. Uh, we've all been beating his ass, and he just, yeah. in the corner of his eye, sees this fully armored paladin <laughs> slowly <laughs> running towards him. <laughs> like, like that scene from uh, the Holy Grail, where yeah. he's like looking into the feet yeah. in the path. I, uh, uh, but that's my turn. All right. This guy's getting his ass beat. As Aya's gonna go over by this tree and like, it's like everything like where she walks at just kind of looks like it's dying a little bit. Ooh. As um, as like this tree that's dead is like gonna like lose a couple of branches as she's gonna toll the dead again. All right, roll it. And it's gonna be the the bigger one. Let's go. God damn Ooh, it! He rebuffs it. And I imagine you're looking more and more. Uh... How do you look at? Uh, well, I would say her hair is successfully black now, as is her eyes, and she looks very tired. Oof. All right, Dwarfadil. All right, so I just man. don't like told to Uh, Dwarfadil's gonna come up to this other guy, give him a nice puff in the face. You know what I mean? Okay. Another point he's there. <laughs> okay. And oh. the voice you catch him right as he's breathing in. <laughs> and uh you do twenty-four damage to him. Holy Jeez. is he is he poisoned uh continuously or nope. No, he just takes the, the one okay. blast of poison. Yeah. He's That's like disfigured. Me, man. Yeah, he's like got a disfigured face from this. <laughs> And uh, for that, he's going to try to knife you. <laughs> and this one is going to be with a sneak attack. Oh, oh no. no, he can't do it because there's no uh, allies within. I was going to say, I also see him. Yeah. Well, so I guess both of those miss. <laughs> yep. That All right. really isn't a surprise he's trying to stab you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dracul. In the next life. I try to ambush people with numbers. And Dracul's gonna, like, just start chopping into the back of his head. Only a 13. It does miss. A 16. Unfortunately, that does miss as well. Oh, goodness. He yeah, laughs at you. Google's <laughs> over there eating his own damn words. <laughs> and then Tootsie comes and tries to, to take a chunk out of his face. That does work. For 14 damage. And Tootsie, gar, 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 like an angry pit bull, yeah, she jumps bites his face off. face off. And he dies. <laughs> 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 it's the Tootsie just s sitting on his chest, spits his face off, 
space, his face out of her mouth, looks up at Drew Ghoul and goes, Hey, good boss? And then licks her eye. And then her eye is stained red with his blood. <laughs> you did good, Tootsie. You, you, you did, did good. good. Very good. Tootsie Ashi on the Wiener Lightica. <laughs> Spirit of the drink. You killed these idiots who are these idiots why would they do this you should check their belongings so we can uh oh. he like falls to his knees vendrick very lethargic and Ooh. uh and tired uh, yes that one down there is alive just uh they probably have some contract on them or something now look at this one over here you got any more twine, dude? Uh, yes. Here, he just Here. sort of like gestures towards his bag. All right, Jake will grab and start tying this guy up. All right. He's a. Uh, I guess you set him up next to this berm. Yep. All right. He's tied up and set up next to the berm. His paralysis is, uh, you know. Wearing off, but he's still he's still uh, knocked out until you guys figure out what you want to do with him. Start going through his pockets. You find a looks like a huntsman's knife, a little uh, a little vial of poison, and a longbow. Some oh, yeah. studded leather armor. Dragul definitely wants some of that poison. For All right. sure, that's some nasty stuff. I'll let you yeah. have it. I don't. I don't need him to answer. I'm gonna take the longbow. Find, find a picture of his kids <laughs> and uh, a, a receipt for a very expensive medical procedure for one of those kids. Uh, you know, so he was really down on his luck. <laughs> oh, he needed the. Uh, he needed the reward money. for the yeah. from the money. <laughs> the bank was gonna take his house. Yeah. Yeah. And his that's kid what... wasn't gonna get the procedure that she needed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she still isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like a well? quiver and arrows too? Or no? Oh yeah, he's got some arrows on him. How many would I think you my say? favorite was when Bingo Bingo killed that child and he asked, he asked what <laughs> You searched him, and he was trying to search him. He's like, "What do I find?" And I was like, "A tenth birthday card." <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's got about fifteen arrows. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna take the lantern that's off of this one that I'm next to, cool. and just kind of like fasten it to my belt. All right. And then um, I'm just going to like roughly look for a con for like a contract or some nonsense because this is the one that cornered Dragul. Yeah, you don't find a contract. All right. Huh. Yeah, that that's that's about that one. I didn't find anything on this one. Could they be? And uh, Drew will I'll check this one in front of him. Yeah, sorry, so... I, I didn't mean to interrupt. You're good. I was just going to say I light the lantern. That's about it. Yeah, these guys are dressed pretty commonly. I mean, they, they appear to just be woodsmen. Um, they are certainly well equipped for hunting whatever you you know whatever you uh think uh, vicious beasts um on did, this did guy have, did they have any scalps on them like did they kill any vicious beasts uh far as you can tell just a coonskin cap i'll take that <laughs> no, I'll take okay that. <laughs> you can have the coonskin cap yeah uh yeah no uh no vicious beasts but uh i mean you can tell that they knew how to Fight in the woods. Yeah. They're woodsmen. They do be. 
Seems so. Oh, we lost Kristoff. Oh. Oh, there he is. Venom. Sorry, on what did you guy. say, Kristoff? Do I find any of that uh, venom on this guy? You do. You find a you find a vial that's certainly already been used, um, but it's good for about one use. You you don't know what it is though. I mean, it's just some uh, some can, vial of slime. Can uh, he can Dragul attempt to discern the type of venom? Uh, do you have a poisoner's kit? Ooh, no, no. He does not have a poisoner's kit. I have alchemist tools. I I think I also just have no. I have detect poison. I don't think that I did. No, it does. It does identify it. So I could perhaps I a could... survival at disadvantage. I could allow that. Yeah. Bunch of nerds. It's poison. Fucking nerd. It's poison. Nerd. I, I can up, determine Ivar? what it is. What's it's up, just... man? I just finally found a part to spot. Or they did, did, did a spot to park. Ten hour day, hundred and fourteen degree weather. It just now started driving. Oh damn! I got six hundred miles to go and one day to do it in. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for popping in. We just killed some woodsmen. Yeah, they oh, yeah, were. Fuck those woodsmen. Yeah, they were yeah, trying no, to. Seriously. They were trying to. <laughs> yeah, we did after they were dead, though. Don't know why they tried to ambush us with only like four guys. I mean, they're woodsmen. They can't be that smart. Yeah, they're, it's they're true. Only they slightly more intelligent. <laughs> they're only slightly more intelligent than truckers. <laughs> <laughs> How's, well, uh, how's that going, by the way? Uh, haven't died yet. <laughs> My third day solo. <laughs> That's the last Did... time I'd go anywhere without a case of Gatorade and a case of water. I've just been like, yeah, two or three will be fine. Nope. Horrible mistake. Horrible mistake. <laughs> Get your piss jugs. What the heck? Oh, <laughs> piss jugs? No, yeah. I'm pretty good about it. Anytime I, because, so I'm a flat better. So I have to stop to check my securement on my load every 50 or 150 miles, depending on uh, what's going on. So I get lots of chances to go pee pee. Well, good. Sounds like you got the right <laughs> job. Great kind of truck. Yeah, job. except you know I I don't get you know the pleasure of them loading my truck for me. I have to they load it and then I have to secure it, tarp it. Like those tarps are 120 pounds each. Hmm. And then I have to throw the straps or do the chains and all that shit. So I get to play out in the heat while they're while everybody else in a box truck gets to sit there. But I make more money than them, so. Yeah. You guys go back to playing. I'm just topping in. Just ignore me. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Like, sure. I, 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 you are, are ignored. I <laughs> are you attempting to get involved in this? Or you gonna just let it be? Uh, I'm just gonna let it be. I'm just gonna listen. Oh, you weren't talking to me. Yeah, that's okay. I was talking to Aya. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I can, yes, identify it. it to, it'll take me a few moments, but yes. All right. As I will just uh, ritualistically cast uh, dis detect disease into poison. All right. Well, <laughs> while you're while you're doing that. Uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? Uh, I assume you noticed the guy who you've got captured and tied up. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dwarfidel's oh, going to hop down and talk okay. to him. Okay. He, uh, man. <laughs> he's, I, uh, he's unconscious, but he's, like, starting to come to. And, uh, I imagine... We, uh, we push him up against this, like, berm here. Boom. <laughs> <sighs> Just I mean, kill your me. Opinion on uh, undead rights. 
and I'm going to need you to sign this petition in order to cancel the pamphlet. <laughs> he goes, talking about how zombies are people. His goes, hands are behind his back. I'd love to sign. My hands are tied. Oh, My man. I got to do it. <laughs> Only pull. politically. Dorfidel puts a pen in his mouth and holds up the paper. <laughs> uh, uh, and he does scribble. He makes a mark on the paper. It's like th the third signature on the entire. <laughs> <laughs> How do you pronounce that, dude? Uh... Are you asking me my name? Yeah, I guess so, dude. It's Tyler. What's up, Tyler? I'm Jacob. I'm Horace. Well, it's nice to meet you. I would shake your hand, but, uh, you know. Why did you guys attack us? We're going to be paid handsomely. We need that. You, we needed that. Uh, the goat head from the Chimera. So you were sent here by uh, a man from the villa, I assume. The villa? No, no. We were sent here by uh, uh, Henry Bradshaw. Is that the same guy that sold, sent us? No. You were okay. sent by Void. That's right. So Void gonna... wanted it, and then Bradshaw also wanted it. Is that Not Bradshaw, the other one. Hawkman was the other guy we talked to. Bradshaw well, is the third also, guy, the magic dealer. Apparent, oh. Yeah, apparently yeah. also Bradshaw, though, because Bradshaw sent these guys. Oh, yeah. Right. All three of them want this in one way or another. Sounds like we should get them into a bidding war. He's like, I don't nice. see why you didn't just give us one. Because they're ours. Would you have given us one if you had three? Besides, dude, we're under contract too, dude. What is your contract? It doesn't matter. We failed. That's true. Very oh, true. he looks up bright eyed. He goes, I tell you what. I'll pull you guys in on my contract and we'll split the money. That sounds like the desperate throes of a dying man. Yeah, you seem kind of unconcerned oh, about your oh, dead oh, friends. Oh. Hang on, man. Half the money? But we could get oh, all the money if we do it. But we could get all the money. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We could, Dwarfadil, we could get all the money if we just turn the heads into the other guy. Dwarfadil's like looking at his fingers. Dr Dragul and Tootsie are, are above him on the berm looking down. Yes. And Dragul will reach down and grab him by the back of the head and make him look up at his, like, the, the two, like, draconic faces above him. All right. Why does your employer want this specific head? I, I don't know. He just you wants it. You don't know? You're He's sure going to pay us handsomely. Just... just for the goat head? Did I swear, I don't know. Assume that someone else would have the head? So when getting paid handsomely, is it like a, a tiara or a really nice coat? Now, Ghost of Ivar, we know you're <laughs> not here. Shut up, Steve. <laughs> did Dwarf being recorded? Dude, did Dwarf Dwarf waves put something his hand in our to, water? To blow away the ghost of Ivor. <laughs> Dwarf Dill put something blows. in our water skins again, dude. Yeah. Dwarf Dill's <laughs> chief and on that non specific thing that smoking and coming in and out of his mouth. Now, okay, Dwarf Dill 100% sees the ghost of Ivar. <laughs> Now, actually, this. So let me let me ask this woodsman a question. I'm gonna I'm gonna kneel down in front of him. And I'm. <laughs> Dragul uh, forces his head to look at Boris. He I'm like, gonna say physically moves his head. I'm gonna say, your employer only wanted the goat head. 
Yeah. I don't know why. Now, how much was he offering for the goat head? 600 gold pieces. A lot of gold pieces. Branch was um, the magical one. It and, could be for some it could be for some ritual. Yeah, exactly. So the and the wine guy is the one that wanted the chimera killed specifically, right? He also wanted the head. Goat head, yeah, dude. But did he want all three heads? Just the goat head, dude. For the oh, horn. he only wanted the goat he wanted the same head. For his like and weird bedroom just stuff, wanted dude. One of the heads, right? Right. Well, he wanted as many scalps as we could bring him. Yeah, but also a cool like monster head, which yeah, I think we sort of determined was the dragon or the lion. Like, yeah, we'll give him hit either the dragon or the lion. Uh, okay, so wine guy and Bradshaw both want the goat head. Yeah. Well, we can only give it to one of them, and we don't have to split it with. Uh, the wine guy. Well, here's the thing. Beyonce used to say. <laughs> the, the one at the winery, as far as we're aware, does not oh, condone nice. magic. Vendrick, can you think of anything as to why you might need a goat's chimera's head for some ritual? Now, well, there's a myriad of rituals, I suppose, and uh, can I think about it? Can I do an arcana check on what sort of rituals chimera heads are generally used for like what category of thing um make an arcana check all right i will I, if it's all right can i give myself guidance while i think about it uh I, just roll it regular it's right. pretty vague because there's so many different uses for it yeah Lots of uses. Oh. You know that it's a um, it, gnomish it, fertility potion. <laughs> it's good. For, it's good for enhancing the power of uh, certain magics. Goats it would be, are it would be for like a multiplicative effect. Infused into a chimera, generally used as some sort of a potency increaser. Uh, for most magical effects. <laughs> Orc vitality Giggity. potions more notoriously Giggity. use it. Uh, God, I missed this. <laughs> but it could be a, a whole slew of different uh, uh, different things. It also could just be for pure curiosity. Chimeras uh, can be made in a myriad of ways. Uh, some by wizards, other by natural means or natural arcane phenomena now it occurs to me though besides our ability to profit off of this item we have something that each of these three want all of them want it and each of them has something we want Perhaps we can use this to our advantage. Yeah. At the end of the day, we need to get this seer's uh, ticket. We could somehow they leverage each, what we have. Then. They each have one. Perhaps we can play them off of each other in their Maybe. wish for the item. At least figure out which of the three are. Um, not that. At least find out which of the three are perhaps more willing to leave with it. Uh, perhaps the man at the winery seems well established. Wouldn't need much in the way of uh, more gain. Uh, the other two seem a bit greedy as well. Perhaps Vendor's we can have all three of them meet to pick it up. <laughs> Perhaps it will cause a bit of a disturbance once they all meet, not knowing that they were going to. Perhaps it will cause a distraction. Dragula, and we could I... maybe procure one of these tickets to the seer. 
we would need to find out where it is if it's not already directly on their person. To be honest, well, Rebel, I... we don't even know how these tickets work. They may not be a mere piece of paper. It could be a tattoo or an object of some kind that is just called a ticket. And I take it they wanted more than... And he looks at the guy down below. 600 gold. Uh, what are you asking? Well, he's just, he's just saying that this guy was going to do this for 600 gold. So the ticket is obviously worth more than 600 gold. Oh, yeah. To yeah. these people. Yeah. If you if you remember, the ticket was like, they get to ask a question. Typically, these powerful merchants use it to ascertain the direction of the, the markets and use yeah. that knowledge to build themselves more power. It's insider ah. trading. Basically. I have an idea. What if we... Did some insider trading. Oh wait, no, we're we have a quest. <laughs> what if we I... deliver one of the heads, but let it slip that we're going to go deliver the other heads to the, one of the other members, if not both of them? I can imagine that would quite cause quite a bit of distress to any party. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, but Why two of them talking... want the two of them want the goat head. That's the problem. Hold on. Are, are we done with this guy? The... Oh. Done with him? No, he's guys, coming with well, us. I, he's coming I just with us. turned you on to a, the deal of a lifetime. Six hundred gold. Dragul yeah, is gonna for, take and it's the. All for us. Dragul is gonna take the pommel of his short sword and clonk it on the top of the guy's head. Wait, you guys are the best. And... Knock him out again. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should um, talk without a little more privately, without our guest. Yeah, I <laughs> am gonna take. I am gonna take the woodsman and strap him to the back of my mule, though. I'm. I'm gonna say that woodsman has died. Was, oh, uh... it was a non-lethal. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't realize it was, was non-lethal. You're knocking him out again. him in the head. <laughs> I see. I see. Did you mean to I kill was him? Say, well, He's cause... a good guy. <laughs> I mean, he... Well, could can... We can use him as leverage. Him, but... Okay, then that's not the case then. Sorry, I thought you were trying to kill him. My fault. He no, is no. Uh, knocked just unconscious Andre... again. Andre the gianting him. You know? He... Go to sleep. All right, he's uh he's snoozing again. But to answer your question, Horace, then it means that we need to go to our first guest. The uh, I forget his name, but you're not talking about wine merchant. You're talking about other guy. Yes, with, he wants with the, the, with the hot daughter. Man. He wants the dragon. Yeah, Billy Hawkman, oh, dude. Yeah, Billy Hawkman. If we deliver right. the dragon head to him, he won't. No, he won't help but notice that we have the two others and when asked about it we can tell him honestly yeah we've we got asked prior commitments mm -hmm. i like your, this... I, I like the way you think vendrick oh thank you and Very this conniving. Fellow, we can deliver him right to the winery i'm sure he would love to know that his competitor is after the same head as him yeah. Stir it all so, up. Stir it all up. Exactly. And maybe the berries as well. Oh, yeah. We should get. Did we find berries? We didn't find any of those berries. You did, actually. Dwarfadil oh. found two, I think. Hell yeah. Good job, Dwarfadil. Yeah, man. And it seems like we have a plan. But we're gonna walk past the winery to go back to town. Hmm. That's the only part that has me a bit perplexed. Should we stop there first, or should we simply head to Bradshaw? Or not Bradshaw, um, Billy Hawkman. Well, the problem Clark. is if we stop at the winery first, then he's gonna want some, he's gonna want the goat head. 
Yeah, and we dude. haven't decided whether we're going to give him the go ahead. So maybe we should. Who do you who do you think you can him. play better, Hawkman or Voight, dude? I think that's the question. I think that answers the question. Hmm. Voight seems the least drunk. invested in this whole thing. The drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Inebriation does help. I say we go there first. All right. We can play the same game. We'll tell him that this gentleman here was sent by Bradley to acquire the same thing he had asked for. And when inquired about our other two heads, we can tell him about uh, the other request uh, by a Mr. Billy Hawkman. Sound like a plan? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Jake's gonna crack the remaining and drink the remaining of his uh, Wheat Vineyards bottle of wine. Hell yeah. Drink it up so you can get a refill. Glug, glug, uh, glug. As we, uh, <laughs> I guess as we go. We, we journey forward. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. You guys are you guys are journeying along. Let's go back. Oh, to, and, and uh, Horus. Those aren't yeah. uh, uh, monsters, so scalping would be irrelevant. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Horus <laughs> drops the head of the woodsman <laughs> right back <laughs> onto the ground. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. All right. You well, cut it... one off. It's actually a good question, Horace. What did you do, if anything? With, with what? With the with the human head, with the with the human bodies. Um, should we scalp them? They're not fey. Yeah, but do you think Billy yes. Hoffman would know that they're not fey, dude? Oh, that's a good point. We should we should probably scalp the two dead ones. We'll hang on, that. hang on. Please, what is the? Please uh... do not do that. Please do not do that. <laughs> what is the uh, the alignment of this action? Well, the alive... pretty... What would Yasni do, bro? Um, Yasni's all about well, these breathing, guys did not scalping. Us. These guys did attack us. Maybe I we feel should. Like Yasni's like, not a scalper. Maybe we should build a fire and purify their corpses for Yasni. I think that's what Yasni would want, dude. All right, yeah, you're probably right. You're probably leave, right. Leave them to the woods. Dwarfadil, do you agree that they should go back to nature? Yeah, man. Well, I don't know about that because the Fae are about nature, and we don't want to let the Fae... If you don't burn the corpses, the Fae win. That's what they teach you in Paladin school. Horace, Paladin please stop school your also head. told you to burn all the math textbooks, I believe. Yeah. Which we did, dude. Which we did do. Yeah, I burned him too. Thanks so much. <laughs> Math is totally not nature. Exactly. Yeah, man. The first page of your math book, you roll it up. <laughs> you burned it too. Why <laughs> would you roll it up? Burned it too. That's so funny. Oh my god, we've descended into madness. <laughs> yeah, I think we've been in that bay forest too long, bros. Yeah. We you guys, run. you know, it's getting late. Well, actually, it's probably not not that late. You you know, it's probably you know. Is it late from a gameplay standpoint? Is that what you're referring to? No, I was meaning like 11. Yeah, I was meaning like gameplay. I I'll say this. How about I say that um, you guys, you know, you guys know that you're towards the end of the forest. Um, and we'll say that uh, you make it out and you find your way and the, the, the trees sort of thin out a little bit. You find a path and that path eventually turns to a, a somewhat trodden road. And you can tell that you guys are on the way back to civilization. All right. And uh, we'll probably actually end it there for the night. Um, Did we uh, set the camp as it grows dark? Eh, we'll get to the vineyard, I believe. We're on the road. Shouldn't take too long. All right. So the party is on on the way back to the vineyard. Mm -hmm. What vineyard? 
What did we? What exactly did we decide to do? Okay. TLDR to end the episode, and that way we can listen to it and recap later. We're going oh, yeah. to go to Voight Vineyard, mm -hmm. at which point we are going to tell uh, Voight about uh, we got the goat head, but this gentleman here, the bandit who attempted to rob us, the woodsman, Tyler, uh, was hired by his rival Bradshaw. Yeah, I to, remember Bradshaw. Is he the to, prick in the magic shop, or was that his son? DM. I think he was employee. the prick in the magic shop. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so we're going to tell him that, like, that guy, his rival, wanted the goat head. He, in fact, he was willing to have us killed for the goat head. Um, and we're going to probably leverage that for some more, uh, some more stuff, because we need that ticket real bad. Uh, possibly come up to an accord where we may get that ticket. Uh, the other thing is we're going to have the other heads visible. So, like, at least nearby, or he's basically not going to miss them. They're pretty big. Uh, to also say, like, oh, yeah, also your other rival, he also wanted these things. Um, again, trying to leverage as much as we can from, from this fella. Mm -hmm. Boy. Um, barring that, we are going to, assuming, you know, we don't come to some sort of accord there, um, we're going to go to, uh, Hawkman's and deliver the, uh, the dragon head or the lion head, whichever one he, he seems to prefer, refer to the same thing, same plan, mm -hmm. right? Say, hey, oh, well, your rival wanted this one, and, uh, on the way back, uh, Boy bought the goat head off of us. Oh, uh, whether whether or not that's true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See? And uh Oh, we are doing a Yojimbo. We're doing a Yojimbo. We're doing a Yojimbo! Hell yeah. <laughs> um, and that is the end recap of tonight's session. And on that note, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more precarious poisonings from the Adventurer's Landing.